If I had United Healthcare hearing aid insurance right now, I would not be happy. Hey guys, Cliff Olson, doctor of audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And in this video, I'm talking about how your hearing aid insurance coverage is about to get a whole lot worse, especially if you have United Healthcare hearing. On February 26th, DeMont-owned hearing aid manufacturer Oticon sent out an email to providers announcing that they would no longer offer their newest innovations for inclusion on managed care formularies. This came as a major blow to individuals with hearing loss who have hearing aid insurance plans that contract with these managed care groups. I'm talking True Hearing, Amplifone, Epic, Hearing Care Solutions, and even United Healthcare Hearing because these managed care programs will no longer be able to offer some of the best hearing aids in the world. Coincidentally, on the exact same day, Oticon announced the release of their brand new Oticon Intent hearing aids, which were a significant leap forward in their technology from their previous generation devices. In fact, if you want to catch yourself up with all all the drama, I published another video recently talking about all of this and how it instantaneously made your hearing aid insurance coverage substantially worse if your hearing aid insurance company contracts with one of these managed care programs. Now don't get mad at Oticon, they essentially had no choice because of the tactics used by these managed care programs to save insurance companies millions of dollars. The worst part of all of this is, is that pretty much every major hearing aid manufacturer will probably follow Oticon's lead with this, which means that if your hearing aid insurance benefits are being administered by one of these managed care groups, you're probably not going to have access to premium hearing aid technology anymore. Of course, just two hours after Oticon sent out that email saying that they would no longer be offering their newer products inside of these managed care formularies, everybody received an email saying how another DeMont-owned company called Bernafon was going to be added to these managed care programs. The email actually said that you will soon have more choices for your patients who use hearing care benefits through a hearing benefit manager. Basically, this was DeMont's way of telling these managed care companies as well as the providers who actually contract with these managed care companies that we're not gonna let you use our Oticon brand anymore, but we'll give you a little consolation of being able to use our Bernafon hearing aids, but we're gonna reserve our Oticon devices, our best devices for people who pay privately or for people who have traditional hearing aid insurance coverage. Well, wouldn't you know it, one of the biggest managed care companies, United Healthcare Hearing, did not seem to take this too kindly. But before we get to the juicy part, if you could do me a huge favor and click the like button, it really helps out the channel because it gets these videos in front of a bigger audience. And while you're at it, if you have not yet hit that subscribe button with notification bell, go ahead and do that as well because that ensures that these videos get in front of a bigger audience. With that said, it's greatly appreciated. Now let's go ahead and get to the drama. In an email from United Healthcare Hearing on March 7th, they announced that United Healthcare Hearing has not committed to offering Bernafon. We are confident that providers will find success in fitting one of the many brands and solutions in our existing product catalog. Yeah, so instead of giving you DeMont created technology, they're basically saying, oh, just find another hearing aid, they'll probably be fine. So if a Oticon hearing aid or even a Bernafon hearing aid would be the perfect hearing aid for you, doesn't matter, you're not gonna be able to actually get that hearing aid if you have United Healthcare Hearing. If I'm being honest, I'm actually quite surprised that DeMont didn't check in with these different managed care companies to see if they tried to pull their Oticon devices out, if they would actually allow them to put their Bernafon brand in. Now this is basically turned into the equivalent of a reality TV show on Bravo where the drama never stops. Regardless, I think that United Healthcare Hearing understands the magnitude of what has just happened here by Oticon pulling out their premium brand and trying to replace it with a lesser known brand. If they allow DeMont to pull their Oticon brand out of their managed care formularies, then United Healthcare Hearing is going to take a huge hit. United Healthcare Hearing and DeMont are basically playing chicken where one is saying, hey, I'm gonna pull these products out and put these products in, and the other one's like, no, no, no. If you pull out your premium product, we're not even gonna let you put in your secondary product, and if you don't like that, then you need to put back in your premium product. So we're gonna really see who wins this battle at some point. And if Oticon wins this battle, basically what this means is that eventually all of the other major hearing aid manufacturers, in my belief, will probably follow suit. Yes, that's right. That means that if you have hearing aid insurance, 
that contracts with a managed care organization, then there is a good shot that at some point you will not be able to get really high quality hearing aid technology from your insurance. Now, just to be clear here, this was never an issue when you had traditional hearing aid insurance benefits, meaning you went to your in-network provider or you went to your out-of-network provider, your insurance company would contribute a certain percentage of coverage to the hearing aids that you got. Managed care, on the other hand, restricts who you can go to. So if your favorite provider is not an in-network provider with the managed care group, you can't use your insurance benefits with them. And this whole thing will limit your ability to actually get the right hearing aids for you. Now, forgive me if I seem a little bit too like jovial about this news, but I've been saying for years that these managed care groups are completely destroying the quality of care throughout the entire hearing aid industry, all for the purpose of saving your insurance company money. As it turns out, it sounds like these managed care programs actually flew a little bit too close to the sun, and they're gonna have to suffer the consequences of that. And ultimately, who does it hurt? The person with hearing loss who has insurance that contracts with these programs. Because not only does the quality of your care typically suffer when you're forced to go to one of these providers who are in network with these managed care organizations, but now you're also gonna be restricted by the technology that they won't let you use. So we'll see who blinks first. Is it gonna be United Healthcare Hearing or is it going to be DeMont and Oticon? I guess we'll find out soon enough.